That's our ring. Time for Lum and Abner brought to you by the makers of alka Well, Thanksgiving Day has arrived in Pine Ridge, and the Spears and the Quincy families and Lum have been invited to eat a big turkey dinner at the Peabody home. Well, we'll soon see what happens next. A happy Thanksgiving Day, folks, and good health to you all. Now that Thanksgiving dinner is probably over, I can't help wondering if you let your appetite get you into trouble. I know it's mighty easy to overeat when the table is loaded down with delicious, mouth-watering good things. So if you happen to overdo it, and right now you have a touch of acid indigestion or a dull headache, here's hoping you have a package of Alka-Seltzer tablets handy. You see, Alka-Seltzer can help you to relief in a hurry. If you haven't any Alka-Seltzer in the house, get a package of these effervescent, comfort-bringing tablets from your nearest druggist right away. And then remember, when you have a touch of acid indigestion, be wise. Alkalize with Alka-Seltzer. And now let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, as we look in on the little community today, we find Grandpap, Lung, and Ulysses S. Quincy in the Peabody parlor discussing the weather while they wait for dinner. Listen. I say this morning I thought sure it was going to snow or rain, but it turned off right pretty. See the sun breaking through the clouds there, Ulysses? Yeah, it looks okay, Lung. Yes, sir, I wouldn't put too much dependence on that, though. The almanac said cloudy. You can look it up for yourself. Page 272, I believe it is. Cloudy. Well, the best says dinner won't be ready for at least an hour yet. Reckon you fellas can wait that long? Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't mind. Give me more of a chance to work up an appetite. Yeah, <laughs> okay. If there's one thing I hate to do, it's draw up a chair to a Thanksgiving dinner with just half an appetite. Oh, yeah, Lord me, that's one meal where a fellow ought to be all set to eat. Well, personal, I'm ready to eat right now. Well, you just have to wait, Grandpa, because the women folks ain't got the vittles done yet. Uh, say, that reminds me, they want somebody to go out and draw a couple of buckets of water from the well there, too. Oh, sure. All right. Didn't say exactly what they wanted for. I needed in the kitchen there cooking or something, I reckon. How, how was the turkey coming, Abner? Did you get a look at it? No, I never, Grandpa. I wanted to, but they keep it so dead blame hot out there in that kitchen. I just couldn't stand to stay around there. Did you notice that, too? Oh, Lord, me, look at me. They always do that. I recollect last year when we cooked in that Thanksgiving dinner over at our place. They got the kitchen so hot it never cooled off for two days. Well, and I think they smothered the turkey to death. They're doing the uh, same thing again this year, I'll tell you that. Seems like every time a batch of women get together in the kitchen, the first thing they do is get the temperatures up to where a man just might not suffocate. Yeah, reckon why they do that. I don't know. They must like it that way, I reckon. Yes, sir, women folks are cute. I've always said it. Must be more cold-blooded than men folks. I know I couldn't stand it out there in that kitchen five minutes like it is. I believe I've read, Summers, that women folks have got thinner blood than men. Well... Either thinner or thicker, I forget which now. They're different, I know. Maybe it's cause they're weaker. Yeah, whatever it is, I wish they'd hurry up and get the vittles on the table. I'm panicked. Yeah, me too, me too. I don't see what you fellas want to race things along for. Personal, I was just enjoying sitting here not doing nothing. Just yeah. rocking. Seems nice to have nothing to do for a change. Well, yes, it's nice, I reckon. That's what a holiday's for, rest. Take it easy. Get away from your work. Folks needs a holiday. Well, I reckon you're right, Mom. People got to have a change sometime, even if it's just for one day, I reckon. Yeah, I don't know what I would have did if this holiday hadn't come along when it did. I was getting plumb wore out. From what, Grandpa? From that telegram deliver job of mine. Oh. Wore right down to the ragged edge. My I got to the breaking point. Well, of course, you don't deliver them telegrams every day, though. Well, no, it ain't the number of delivers I make. It's the strain I work under all the time. Strain, huh? Oh, yeah. Got to be on my toes every minute. Huh. The tension is terrible. Well. Never know when a telegram's coming in. If I know when it's coming in, it'll be all right. I'll go three or four months without no telegrams. That's what makes it so hard on me. 
Well, I never had looked at it just that way before, I'll admit. Hey, no. You look at it sometimes that way, and you'll see what I mean. Yeah. Then directly two or three of them will pop in in one month. Oh, oh my It's goodness. the uncertainties of the thing. Some months a telegram will come in, and then again it might not. Well, I can see that's a harder job than I ever allowed it was, yes, sir. Well, that just goes to prove my point. Every human, no matter who it is, man or woman, needs a holiday now and then. Ain't that right, Ulysses? Yeah, okay, huh? Uh, how's that? Say, yeah, I believe you're right, okay. Oh, yeah. The human body is just like a machine. You can't expect it to work every day, year in and year out. It's got to have a rest. I've always said that. Well, well I'm quite a hundred percent. I love holidays. Of course, I don't see why women folks need a holiday, necessary. Oh, no, they need to them, too. Well, of course, it's nice that they can enjoy them. I'm for that, I reckon. I just sort of remarking they don't need them as much as us men folks. Well, I don't know. I believe you're wrong there, Abner. Oh, well, well. Foster woman don't do the heavy work a man does, natural. Still, she's got little chores to do from day to day, and she works at them pretty steady. Well, I reckon you're right. I know Elizabeth keeps up good on the little things she has to do around the place. She ain't lazy, I'll say that for her. Ain't a lazy bone in her body, I don't reckon. It don't seem no more than right that they get one day to do sort of what they want to. Give them a rest, sort of a change. Yeah, yeah, well, well, I think about it on any other Thursday. Long about this time, instead of sitting around a nice warm kitchen, why, Elizabeth be out in the field plowing. Or else she'd have a chopping axe in her hand, splitting up some wood or something. Well, that's what I mean. As it is, why, she's got up a... A couple of hours earlier this morning, got all that out of the way. Now, see, you know Charity done the same thing. She did. She done it. She was out of bed before daylight. Huh. Made such a racket outdoors, I couldn't hardly sleep. Same thing happened to me. But now I can see it was a good thing for them. Gives them the rest of the day to enjoy themselves, you know, cooking and all such yeah. as that. Well, sir, Charity must, just must love it. She started two days ago. Yeah, oh, they look forward to these holidays. There's no two ways about they just love them. Well, personal, I love to see the women folks enjoying themselves. Yeah, don't spoil them too much. They don't get out into the world much as us men folks do. No, no, they don't. Sociable now and then, cross and be, that's about all they get out. Sometimes I think maybe the women need a nice holiday like this even more than us men do. Uh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I hear somebody calling from the kitchen there. I never hear nobody. Sounded like it might be Charity. You better go out there and see what she wants, Grandpa. Yeah, all right. Maybe I can hurry things along. Yeah, that's there. a good yeah. idea. Tell them to get to rooting and snooting, Luton. No, sir, there's nothing like a holiday. I bound you, I know what they're calling for. That water they wanted to bring in from the well. That's oh, what they're yeah, yelping that's about. Right, that's right. Well, Grandpa can get it from. He's anxious to eat. I just hope it ain't too heavy a work for them. Them are pretty big water buckets we got. It's all Elizabeth can do to carry them things herself. Stay out as she is. Well, he's got sense enough not to fill them too full. He's frail, old man, Pappy. You know, I believe I'm beginning to get a little hungry myself. <laughs> talking about eating. I smell that turkey cooking out there, and it smells awful good. Don't it, Ulysses? Yeah, okay. How's uh, that? I say it smells okay, love. Yes, sir, there's nothing like a holiday. Oh, wait a minute, Dover. There comes Grandpa back already. He's done that pretty fast. Have you done carried in the water, Grandpa? No, no, they done it yourselves. Oh. Miss Quincy went out and got it. Miss Quincy? Yeah. Dover, you listen, that little woman of yours must be awful stout for her size. Well, she's okay, Abner. Now they want somebody to go out there and turn the ice cream freezer. Well, why didn't you do it as long as you was out there? Oh, it's too dead blamed hot. I couldn't stand it. Well, you do that out on the back porch, Grandpa. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Did they say how quick we could eat? Well, I asked, but I never did get no answer. Huh. Just kept bustling around there. Might not have knocked me over twice. Oh, yeah, well, they're more like they just excited because it's a holiday, you know. Overcame with joy. What I can't understand is why if they're enjoying themselves, they don't show it more. Well, you know how women folks are, Grandpa. You never can tell much about them just by looking at them. Elizabeth would go to a picture show and sit there and bowl and puddle up, scowl all the time, then tell somebody how she enjoyed it. Yeah, they're more like they don't realize themselves how much they're enjoying this. Well, tomorrow after they went back to their work, then they'll see that they needed this rest and appreciate it. Yeah, the change is good for them. Ain't no doubt about that. No doubt at all. No, give them something different to do. That's a thing on Thanksgiving this way. Now, Jimmy, I, I'm sort of 
getting hungry. I don't know where I can wait much longer, fella. No, oh, me neither, Grandpa. I'm just might not starve. <laughs> I tried to grab a pickle pear while I was out there, but Elizabeth taking the dish right out from under my hand. Well, that shows their hurry. It oughtn't to be long now. No. If it's much longer, they won't have to bother to set a place for me. I'll just be dead from starvation. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm beginning to feel the same way, Granddad. How about you, Ulysses? Oh, I could eat old Chad, Mom. Why don't you go out there and stir him up a little, Abner? Reckon I ought to. Well, hit your house. You've got a right to say anything in it you want to. Oh, I have. Huh? Yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe I'll go back there right Tell now. him to slap them vittles on the table. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, tell him Ulysses is hungry, too, Abner. Yeah. Danny, that's the most wonderful flavor coming from that turkey out there. Yeah, that's one of our turkeys. Charity raised it herself. It's a good stouting, too. Had to chase that thing clean over to the creek and back before ever she could catch it. And then I thought it was going to throw her before she could put the axe to it. You you seen the whole thing, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Standing right there, I helped Charity sweat her while she chased him. I had thought he was a grandpa. Uh, how's that, you Lizzie? Sounds right for it, Grandpa, oh, to yeah. hold his woman's sweater. Oh, wait a minute. Just comes Abner back. Get ready, men. Loosen your belt. Where do you want it to set, Abner? Uh, I, I'm scared we ain't quite ready to eat yet, man. What? Well, what's holding things up? Well, Elizabeth, you know her. She's still busy trying to crank on that ice cream. Oh, food. that's right. I was supposed to send somebody out there to do that. I offered to do it, but Elizabeth told me to get out of there. Said she'd do it herself. She told you to get out? Yeah, I don't know where I imagine this or not, man, but it just seems to me that that whole bunch of women folks out there is teased about something. Well, now, ain't that a shame? I don't know what it could be. Must have had some little squabble amongst yourselves, I reckon. Yeah, you know, the trouble with women, they just don't know how to relax and enjoy a holiday. If I live to be a thousand years old, I never will understand. Well, friends... With the Thanksgiving Day celebrating drawing to a close, it might be well to remember that a weekend of relaxation and fun is just ahead for most of us. You know, late hours, too much smoking and eating, can often lead to a dull, dreary headache or stiff, sore, aching muscles. Now, you won't be able to enjoy yourself if you're not feeling your best. And that's where Alka-Seltzer comes in. Yes, sir, when you have Alka-Seltzer handy, real relief can be yours in no time at all. So see your druggist before your weekend begins and get a package of Real Relief Alka-Seltzer tablets. That's the Alka-Seltzer way to be prepared in case you overdo during your weekend fun. Dull, dreary headaches or sore, aching muscles need not keep you down when you have Alka-Seltzer. And remember, when your tablets get down to four, that's the time to buy some more. (laughs) 